Okay, so welcome back uh, to Caterham Crash Repair Part 2. Um, this video might be a little bit bitty because um, I've only got a limited amount of time um, tonight to do this. And I, I'm, I'm, I, I think in, in the uh, it's going to be like that for the, until I've re finished rebuilding this. So, um, But uh, at the moment, what I'm going to try and do is get this stripped out so I can use this as a reference for the other side. Well, I think you can see, without measuring it, you can see that this is uh, bent. So I'll take the steering rack off and, um, and then what we're going to do is have a little bit of a measure and see how we can actually do that. I mean, it may well be that we could just have a porter pack on here and just push it down. Don't know. But um, let's get the steering rack off and then have a look. Okay, so I found this steel tube, which is the same diameter as the uh, steering rack. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and, I'm going to get the porter pack and try and, um, with the aid of a few blocks and what have you, try and bend it back round. And then we'll be able to measure off this bar from various points on the chassis to see if we can get it squared. Um, yeah, let's see, what, let's see how we get on. So basically this bit has got to go up, that bit has got to go down. I've got this spreader bar which might, um, I don't know, we'll have, we'll have a little look. I'll have to put some bars, because what I don't want to do is bend the chassis. I just want to bend this. Um, although that is triangulated there. If we put a, a block of wood there, maybe with a little jack, we can uh, jack that down, this forward. I think literally all it's done is done that. Um, there's definitely a split there. Um, and this is creased here. So push that down, lift that up. Just like that. How hard can it be?
Okay, so I've, um, it's a bit Heath Robinson, but I managed to get the porter pack here, gone off a strength, a strong piece of the uh, chassis, and pulled pulled it this way. It seems to be in line. So I'll, I'll get rid of all this, put it up in the air, and then we'll have a little measure. And um, but in actual fact, that went quite well because it pulled this down and actually pushed that back up. So. Um, We'll have a little measure and make sure it's in the right place. But what I will have to do is just grind these where the welds are broken, grind those out and um, rebraze them. And I might, I might even just put a little strengthening plate on there as well, um, just to make sure it doesn't move. But um, yeah, quite pleased with that. Okay, so with a combination of um, scissor jacks, porter packs, uh, bits of old chain. Um, I've pulled it every which way and um, now whichever way, it's, it's difficult to measure it because of, because of the way it is. Um, you know, I've still got some body work on here. But I've measured it every which way now as, as, as far as I can see. And um, I seem to be getting the same measurements both sides. So I would say, that's straight with the chassis and it certainly does look, you know, when you stand back it looks straight. So um, I'm going to call that straight now. So I'm going to grind these welds off, weld them up properly, check it all again. And um, that's, the steering, that's the steering chassis bit done. So uh, now we'll concentrate on um, getting these points welded back on. Okay, so now it's time to turn our attention to that bracket. So uh, this is the bracket that came off and I, I tried to repair it to get it to go square, but in cutting it about, it's, it's a little bit not very good. So with the aid of a bit of cardboard, I've managed to make a new bracket and um, we're going to attempt to braise that on now. That goes on somewhere like that. Uh, I took the, uh, the, the suspension off the other side to try and establish uh, an alignment. I think, I think the bracket on the other side has been knocked off before, so I'm not entirely sure. But it appears to me that, um, well, it stands to reason that you would say that it goes all the way through. So I've turned this pin down to the right size, um, put it through both of the... And with it clamped on there, um, that's in line. So I think that bracket will be okay. We just need to make sure it's all secured up there and we'll get that brazed on. Um, I'm going to put the wishbone back in and bolt it all up tight. Um, I noticed on the wishbones, the, the, I think it's possibly because they've been running out of line before, the bushes are rubber bushes. and um, they don't appear to be entirely straight. So what we'll have to do is, I know that that's got to be in like that, um, and I can measure it once it's in, but we, we'll, we'll, we'll pop that in and, um, and see, if we can, uh, see if we can get it about right. But anyway, that is the right position. I've measured it. It now fits, so um, like that. Um, it now fits and there's a straight line all the way through. Um, just got to make sure, well actually I might just weld it in like that because that's going to fit in there. So, um, you know, front to back, that's okay. So I'll get this clamped up and um, we'll have a go at brazing it in.
Okay, so I've managed to weld this on most of the way around now. I just want to finish it off a few bits, put a bit on there. Um, I haven't done any brazing for a long time, but um, I still manage, I, I still can, I can still do it. So uh, the rods I'm using have got flux infused in them. So, um, and they seem to work, they seem to be working really well. So I'm just gonna get this one finished off, that done, then we'll, we'll have a look at, have a look at this uh, mount down here. Okay, so <coughs> that's it welded on there. It's um, the braid's not very pretty, but it's um, I think that'll be strong enough. So now what we're going to do is we've got to try and do we've got to try and fit this one back in here now. So I'm going to go and get that cleaned up, and we'll have a little look and see what we can do. So we've got the steering rack bracket all straightened out and um, repaired. We've made a new bracket for the uh, suspension pickups and we've put the lower one, braze up and back on. Um, I'm quite pleased with that because I haven't done any brazing for a long time. Um, it doesn't look that pretty, but it, it's, uh, it's nice and strong. So um, next thing I'm gonna do is get all this painted and in the next video, we'll start bolting things back on. So um, thanks for watching, please subscribe, give us a like, write a comment and we'll see you all next time. And remember, how hard can it be?